Hello everyone. Today I'm going to continue with our EKG learning videos. My name is Dr. Carolina Melgar and today I would like to talk to you about atrial rhythms. If you recall, the main feature of atrial rhythms is that we have an abnormal P wave or P waves that are replaced by flutter or fibrillation. So we're going to look at premature atrial complexes or PACs. We're going to look at atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and supraventricular tachycardia. Let me show you different EKG strips of these arrhythmias. I know it can be complicated, but I'll do my best to explain them. Let's start with premature atrial complexes, or PACs for short. So you can see that on the right side of the strip, it looks really normal. It's a normal sinus rhythm. We have our P waves, our QRS complex, our Ts. But over on this side, this P wave decided to show up early. It didn't wait its turn, it came in early, and it's kind of getting inside of the T wave, the previous T wave. So that is exactly what PAC is. It's an abnormal impulse that originates from the atria and occurs early, and it might look different than the other P waves. Notice that when you have a PAC, you may end up with a pause following the QRS. This is called a compensatory pause. Now, there's no necessary treatment for PACs. However, frequent PACs may precede more serious dysrhythmias, so it's definitely something to consider. The symptoms are mostly heart palpitations, usually isolated and without any other manifestation. Here we're looking at atrial flutter. You can notice from the start that instead of P waves, we have these flutter waves, kind of like a zigzag. You can notice the regularity of the heartbeats because we have equal distances between these R waves. The pulse is regular. The symptoms you might feel with this kind of arrhythmia are also heart palpitations, dizziness, shortness of breath, fatigue, and also fainting. Here we have a strep of atrial fibrillation, AFib for short. You'll notice right from the start that you can't see P waves before any of the QRS complexes. Instead, we have a lot of these little bumps between them. We can also see that the distance between these R waves is irregular, so our pulse will also feel irregular. The symptoms are very similar to the ones we mentioned in the atrial flutter. Here we're looking at supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT. When you look at this rhythm, it's actually pretty regular. So if you measure between the R waves, it will be an equal distance apart. The P waves are not really visible because they're kind of buried in the T waves and the heart rate is so fast, usually between 150 and 250 beats per minute. All these arrhythmias carry the same symptoms, heart palpitations, dizziness, chest discomfort, and even fainting. So far, we've covered all the abnormal rhythms that are generated in the atria. On my next video, we'll talk about the abnormal rhythms that are generated in the ventricular part of the heart. So follow for more.